So what is going on guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I wanna share with you why I've decided to give up alcohol and drinking on the weekends and how this simple decision has completely changed my life. Now in general, I've decided to give up this scene. But the truth is, this has probably been the toughest decision that I've made in my life. Being 22 years old, not only do my friends not understand why I'm making this decision, but also, I realized how much time I was wasting in the bars. I realized that being 20 years old, that this is the culture, this is the lifestyle that you're supposed to leave. But I knew if I always wanted more for myself, I knew that I was wasting so much of my time, my energy, my potential, in things and places that were not serving me in life. I went from being so unmotivated, unfocused, undriven. I wanted all these amazing things for myself. I told myself I want to achieve this. I had these great ambitions, yet my actions were not speaking louder than my words. I was surrounding myself with people that were serving me. I was doing things. I was consuming alcohol that would keep me distracted. And all these simple things that I was doing on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday led me further and further away from my goals and my dreams. I decided to put down the bottle and pick up my ambitions and my goals. And this simple decision has completely changed my life. I've become the most productive, the most, I'd say, successful I've ever been in my life. I made the most amount of money, I've had the most amount of opportunities flow into my life, and more importantly, i become the most mentally, physically, and emotionally fit. I realized that surrounding myself with better people, I realized that focusing on doing things that are going to serve me on the weekends have completely shaped my life, and I just want to show you guys this journey and why I made this decision, and how you can make a simple decision that can change your life as well. The first reason I gave up drinking and partying is because I realized how much time that I was actually wasting at these locations that were not serving me or getting me to my goals. Now, like I said, when you're young, everything is about drinking. 18, 19, 20, 21, I was the life of the party. I was the kid that everyone wanted to be around. I was the kid shotgunning beers, you know, doing these crazy dance moves, always going out there trying to pick up chicks. And I was in places and I was around people that were not serving me to my best ability. I was wasting so much time. Now, not only in the moment right there in the present are you wasting a lot of time, you're distracted. This moment seems like the best moment of your life when you're, you know, turned up. The truth is, Saturday. When you go on Friday, you're hungover on Saturday, you're hungover on Sunday, and this little trickle down effect, this little compound effect, when you go on Friday, you're hurting on Saturday, which means that you can't catch up on your work on Saturday, which means you have to do it on Sunday, which means it throws off your whole routine. And I realized my routine was the most important thing in my life. I realized that the habits that I have, little rituals that I do every morning, allow me to get to where I am right now in my life, has allowed me to feel the most clarity in my life, has allowed me to have the most opportunity in my life, because I've been doing the same things, and over time, these simple actions come compound and grow and make a little bit of progress that helps shape and form my life. But when I go out on Friday or I go out on Thursday, I would be delayed like two days. Everything that I was going through was now backed up, which meant I had to scramble, I had to rush, I had to stress over things that I now have to catch up on, all because I made a decision to sacrifice my goals and my ambitions to go out there and drinking and partying. Like that scene was so much fun, but I wanted more for myself. I knew how to be doing things that other people were not doing. Now the second thing that I realized and I also saw, and the reason that I really gave up drinking is because the financial aspect was basically so dumb for me. I realized I was going to places every Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday and spending eight to ten dollars on a drink. Yet I wanted these amazing financial goals for myself. I told myself that I want to have this amount of money saved. I want to have this amount of money invested for myself. I want to save this money to invest into the next business. Yet I was just simply going and wasting money every weekend. It's crazy that people my age can spend a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars just like this at the bar. Now for me, credit card debt, I never really got into it, but at the bar, I was just spending way too much money. Like I said, alcohol was pulling me away from my goals, my dreams, and basically what I had set out for myself, yet I continued to go down the path of doing it. Whether it was spiritually and even financially, I wanted to cut that out of my life, so I decided to quit the bar scene, quit partying, quit drinking, and it's crazy how much money I have saved within these past six months. It's crazy how much money I've invested because now I don't have this weird bill that I have in my life. It's crazy how you have a bill called alcohol and partying and drinking when you're 20 years old, 21 years old. And this completely did not serve me financially and I've decided to cut this out of my life. And financially, I've been the most you know happy and healthy that I've ever been in my life. And lastly, guys, I just wanna share the truth about this scene. I felt disconnected. I truly did. I felt like I was running into people that just didn't really make sense to me. I was around people that didn't really want the same things for me. I was meeting people that were not connecting with me. And this whole scene just made no sense to me. Like I said, every morning I'd wake up and tell myself, I want to achieve this. I want to have this type of goal. 
yet I was wasting all this time. I was surrounding myself with people that don't have the same ambitions. And I thought that the best place for me to meet my my, my next relationship or to meet my next business partner, that the, to meet my next person that's going to help me achieve success in life was going out and drinking and meeting them at the bar or a party. And that made zero sense in my life. And I went down the path of being undistracted. Alcohol was that distraction for me. Through alcohol, I've seen and I've lost friends through drugs and I've experimented with drugs and I've just been in that whole scene all through going out and putting myself in this position. Now, I've realized that I needed to cut this out of my life. Imagine if I could take this amount of energy, this amount of time, and put that into people, build new relationships that are actually going to serve me and help me how much further along I could be. And the last thing I want to leave you guys with is why I cut this out is because I realized that I wanted to do more, be different than other people my age. Like I said earlier, my friends still don't understand. My family doesn't really understand why I've kind of cut this fun time of my life. This is the time for you to make mistakes. This is the time for you to go out there and party, live your best life. But that's not how I think anymore. I want to think that I want to build the most amount of wealth. I want to build the most amount of success for myself right now. And I want to build and be different than so many other people. So I must do things different than other people. And this simple tweak of let's be different. Let's work while other people are not. Let's become the most productive person on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'm working. I'm doing an extra three to four or five hours every day of work. And I'm building my passions. I'm building my businesses. I'm building more content. I'm building my brand while people are hungover, while people are at the bars. Like, I am low-key excited that they're there partying because I know that I have, can use this time to get a little further ahead. That I can get a little step ahead. And over time, these little steps will make me win. And these little steps will help me financially, personally, spiritually, and through my life. So guys, I've decided to cut this little portion of my life out. This portion of, you know, I thought this was the best time of my life. And I've decided to allocate this time, this energy, this money, and this focus on things that are actually going to serve me. I wanted to be different. I wanted to save and make more money. I wanted to build habits that are going to serve me in life and allow me to become the most productive, the most motivated person I could be. And lastly, I wanted to be focused. And every time I was at a bar, every time I was chasing the wrong things, I became unfocused. I would wake up unmotivated. I would do things that didn't serve me. I was un, you know, unclear in the mornings. I didn't know what I really wanted for myself because I was around things that didn't provide clarity. I was focused on things that were not going to serve me or make me that person I've always wanted to be. And simply cutting out drinking, partying has completely changed my life. So if you're going through this struggle, if you're trying to think, hey, should I cut this out of my life? Like, how do I do this? Please let me know. Like I share with you guys, I don't know, um, I'm over seven and a half weeks into the 75 hard challenge. I've not drank. I've not been to a bar, really. Um, I've not partied. The, the, the weekends have been strictly business, um, escape, trying new things, adventure, um, building a brand, like things that I really love and I'm excited about that are going to help serve me because all one day I want to I want to have people and just do it for myself. People like, how did this kid become so successful? What did he do? And I know it's all going to come down to the actions that I took as a teenager, as a 22-year-old, as a youngster that will allow me to become the 1% that will allow me to have the most beautiful life that I've always dreamt of. So I realized, number one, guys, I was wasting a lot of time. My actions were not following up with my words. And more importantly, I was surrounding myself with the wrong things. And I was wasting so much time that completely drove me away from my goals. So that's my story. Um, if you're thinking about this, guys, it's going to be tough. You might lose a lot of friends. People don't understand what I'm going through right now. But it's completely shaped and formed my life. I'm so grateful I went through this journey. And I want to continue to share this with you. So have a great night. Have a great day. Have a great evening, a great afternoon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them below. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, the Peter Roberts channel, feel free to smack that bad boy. Leave a thumbs up, and uh, I hope to talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Take care. Peace out. Cheers.